10-year-old with a history of an inoperable brain tumor. According to mom, he's acting goofy. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab whatever your cheat sheet is, Brazil tape, hand heavy, but just remember, red has to go to the head and then you measure to the heel. So you can see clearly this child falls into the zone. All right, on to Scott for a quick tip. So in this scenario, it describes how you've got a 10-year-old with a inoperable brain tumor who's acting goofy. That really comes down to a couple things. The first of which is you have to say, well, why are they acting goofy? Because as you can imagine, it could be for a couple reasons, the easiest of which, and very commonly, would we would say it's because of their big old brain tumor. And it's certainly an option. However, from real life experience, two other things come into play. The first of which is to remember everything bad that happens in kids is respiratory. And your brain only wants three things to be happy, and it's blood, oxygen, and glucose. So therefore, if anybody across the board is acting not right, check a finger stick sugar to make sure that it's not that their blood sugar is 20, and check a pulse ox to make sure that it's not that their pulse ox is 74. Because if indeed your sugar's good and your pulse ox is good, well then you're going to CAT scan or MRI to figure out what's going on. But if it is one of those other two things that look really bad if you miss them, that just simply looks bad. Now specifically though, when it comes to this case, they describe the kid as having an inoperable brain tumor who's acting goofy. So when you've got a kid like that, the moral of the story is they're going to get steroids, specifically Decadron or some variation thereof. Because what they've shown is if you give the kid a hit of Decadron, it will temporarily bring down the edema and act a whole lot more pleasant. But remember, as a side note, if you're going to push Decadron, whether it's for an asthmatic kid, or for a brain tumor, you have to push it slowly. That's important, meaning push it over a couple of minutes. And why I know from personal experience this comes into play is simply this. Years back when I was a baby new ICU nurse, my preceptor taught me years back that when you push Decadron, you have to push it slowly. And she said, I guarantee you'll remember this as a guy. If you push Decadron quickly, you can get something described as genital burning. Which, she's like, you're a guy, I guarantee you do not want genital burning. She's like, so just as a rule, just push Decadron slowly. So, when you're dealing with Decadron, again, whether it's for asthmatics or for brain tumors, please, especially on behalf of all of the guys out there, push it slowly. And more importantly, when you're dealing with anyone who's got an altered level of consciousness, your brain only wants three things, blood, oxygen, and sugar. So before you take a road trip to CAT scan, check a sugar and check a pulse ox.